video welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already a subby if you're not make sure you go ahead and like and do the other thing my brain hurts subscribe okay so i haven't talked to you guys in a while it's been a hell of a fucking semester y'all know i am retaking organic one since i'm sitting here so I'm retaking organic one and I don't know if y'all know but like if you can't I'm sorry about the audio it's raining and I don't drive in rain so we're here <laughs> that's it so I took my third test for the semester <laughs> I didn't fail <laughs> um I didn't fail that's 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 genuinely all I can say about it I didn't fucking fail I've only failed one test this semester technically I didn't do as well as I wanted to do and like it makes I've been studying I've been going to office hours I've been doing the pre-test I've been doing the quizzes I've been doing the homework and I just for the life of me I'm if I if I like tear up or if like sound like I'm about to cry just it's out of frustration <sighs> because I've done so much bought the books bought the models every single thing that I can do for this stupid class <sighs> and I'm still struggling I'm still struggling our last test he gave us a test from last year to like study from and then he basically used the test from last year to make the test for this year or like 125 or something I still have 15 points of like a margin of error and I'm still trash at this I'm so bad at it and like it's not like I'm not doing the work it's not like I'm stupid because I'm doing I'm doing the labs I'm doing the labs for like the class I'm going to lab I'm doing the experiments I'm doing my lab reports I'm getting B's on my lab reports I would honestly get A's but like my lab professor she just I don't know I don't I don't I don't know what she wants to give me an A but I've been getting B's on lab reports so it's not like I'm stupid it's not like I don't understand information it's not like I'm not retaining information it's not like I'm not studying I just I Every time I get a test back, this is the third test I'm get back. Every test that I'm getting back has made me cry because like it's, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough, and I can't get a C in this class. I can't. I can't get a C. I can't get a D. I don't even want to be in this stupid class. But like a B is my best option at this point because I'm not gonna get a. Can you chill out. Chill. Chill. Because it's like, I'm not going to get a fucking A at this point, no matter what I do. The person that I'm studying with, he got a 77! A 77! He wasn't even in class to see his test. And I was there, I just, and I'm just a nosy bitch. And my professor, like, knows me and this person, like, always stay together. And, like, we're always together. We do yada yada, boom boom. And, like, he wouldn't give me his test. But, like, he had it, like, flipped over and, like, my nosy ass wanted to know what the fuck he got because he's not in town. So, he's not going to get it until our next class. And I just wanted to know what he got. He got a 77. Just... <sighs> like, I can explain the material. I explain the material to other people. I help other people out. And I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Like, I'm not having testing anxiety. Like, I'm not stupid. <sighs> don't know I don't know organic chemistry is really like it is causing me so many issues I'm not having these problems in genetics I'm mad that I'm getting to be in genetics 
right the fuck down. But I'm like, I'm like, I just want, I just want one A on one test. I just want a 90. I don't even want like a 95. I just want like 190. And like, yes, my scores have gone up and I've improved my grade from like the order of tests that I took last semester versus the order of tests I've taken this semester. I've improved my grades a lot and not cheating and doing it. But it's like, I just, I just want a 90. I just want 190. I just want 190. If I can get a 90. Like, if I can get 190 on one of these, I have two more tests left. If I can get a 90 on one of these two tests, like, <laughs> I can get a really, really, really low A out of this class. But, like, this is becoming impossible. This is the highest grade. This particular test is the highest grade that I've gotten in the class on, like, a test. And, like, I'm, I'm not failing my quizzes either. I'm getting like four out of fives on our quizzes which is like considering the fact that I'm not cheating <laughs> like doing very very well but it's just like I don't understand I'm doing stupid little worksheets I'm studying I'm taking notes like I'm just I'm coming to class every day paying attention in class going to lab paying attention in lab doing the lab reports doing everything recitation like all of it like I just It's just pissing me off because I've never been so bad at something. I don't think I was this bad. Hi, lady. I don't think I was this bad at chemistry in high school. I don't even remember chemistry in high school to be 170% the fuck honest. And, like, this is it's difficult as hell. Like, it's so hard. I've bought extra workbooks. I've bought, like, fucking chemistry for dummies. <laughs> because I've been so bad at it. It's been so hard. And it's, it's still so hard. I ask questions in class. I answer questions. And, like, anytime you ask a question, I will volunteer. I don't know if the jacket is making a lot of noise. And I'm sorry if it is. And, like, anytime he asks questions, I answer the questions. Or, like, ask, or like try to answer the questions because I want to know what I'm doing wrong and like try to like fix my margin of error and like just like it just makes my brain boil the night before that stupid test we stayed up until almost 1 a.m almost one o'clock in the morning doing the practice exam went to study and went to office hours all the day of the exam prior to that i had studied mind you it was homecoming week it was spellhouse's homecoming week the week before still studied that week still took notes and read all my chapters and read everything and did everything i was supposed to do and i'm still not getting a 90 some girl got a fucking perfect score and i can't get a 90 a 90 i can't get a 90 a 90 i can't get a 90 and that's that's literally all i want in his lifetime is to get a 90 in organic chemistry because this is still 231 this is still the first part of organic chemistry because i still have a whole nother section of organic can another seizure i still have another section of organic chemistry to take and to try to pass i still have a term paper i already have the term paper from last semester so i'm gonna use that paper which is like an a plus paper so i'm not too worried about that but if i cannot get a 90 on these next two tests i'm gonna get a c out of this class and i just i cannot fathom it he's gonna drop the lowest two grades which is fine that pushes me up to sitting on a b right now i can get a very very low a if i can get a 90 two 90s two i have two tests we have one more test and then we have a final and then term paper i just need a 90 i need two 90s I would prefer a 90 and a 95, but like that last test is hard as hell. And I know how hard it is because I, I took the last test last time because like I made it through the whole semester and dropped it on the last day. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, this whole video came out as me like complaining and crying a lot because like I'm so frustrated and like I think I was this frustrated with it the last time. And like, yes, I've made improvements and I should look at it as like oh you made improvements and that's what like the person I studied with that's what he said and it's
it's an improvement, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I'm not gonna get into medical school with a C in organic chemistry. But yeah, this video is a lot of complaining and it's just, it's frustration. I'm frustrated. I'm tired and I'm frustrated and it's getting to like that point in the semester where like I need a break and like I'm not taking care of myself I haven't washed my hair in three weeks <laughs> I don't want to shave my legs I don't shave my legs anyway but like I shave them like four times a year and like this is the time that I shave them for like my little quarterly shave and I don't want to shave them I don't want to do anything I don't want to go get waxes like I just <sighs> It's just that time of the semester where, and like I'm homesick. I want to go see my grandparents. Like I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. I'm not. I haven't even gone to meet with my advisor to get my pen for next semester to start registering for classes next semester. I don't know if I'm gonna be part time or full time next semester. Hell, I don't know. If I'm gonna be for school. And I just. Oh. wow that one little tear was really dramatic because I've needed to like cry all day and I'm just like I've been avoiding it at all costs because like I just I have a mascara so <laughs> but like I really do need to like cry the fuck out because I'm so tired <sighs> so yeah <laughs> that's what's been going on I've been trying to survive chemistry like okay and it's really hard and I just want to be a doctor and like I don't understand why I can't do it <sighs> like I don't understand why I can't do it I, I like at this point if I get a seat out of this class I'm gonna have to get a post back and I don't want to do a post back program I just want to go straight to medical school but I'm gonna have to because I can't I'm exhausted. So yeah, that's it. That's my life right now. And I wanted to stop raining so I can finish driving home because, like, I don't like driving in rain because I can't see. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, it probably won't be until Thanksgiving to be 102% honest because like our next test is on the 18th. <laughs> and I'm sick of shit. I'm sick of that. Oh, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll see you guys for Thanksgiving. I'll let you know if I go home. If I don't, whatever I decide to do, you guys will know. But thanks for coming to my TED talk. No, that's probably copywritten. <laughs> thanks for joining me to listen to me cry about organic chemistry because it's hard. It's fucking hard. But yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.